Hi guys, welcome. My name is Arthur and today I would like to show you how you can control current network inside the MetaMask wallet. I think this is quite useful feature that you can add to your decentralized application that if you are using layer two solutions like Polygon or Binance Smart Chain, which I think in many cases uh, you should, uh, then you don't have to type the long uh, manual instructions to your customers uh, so they have to manually change the network inside the MetaMask. Instead, you can just use MetaMask APIs. So whenever somebody clicks switch to the Polygon or switch to the Binance Smart Chain, then immediately a MetaMask will ask us about whether we are allowing this site to switch the network or if the user doesn't have already Binance Smart Chain mainnet configured inside the MetaMask wallet, we will just ask user to add the configuration to the wallet. So I think this is a great from the user experience experience a perspective that we can just handle that uh, via API. And I will show you in the minute how you can do it in the, your JavaScript code. So um, the code of this application, you can find the link down below in the description. I will use React.js because I'm the big React.js fanboy. However, there is no problem with moving that code to any other framework or library. So if you would like to use Vue.js, Angular, jQuery, or even Vanilla.js, there's no problem with moving this code because you will see that actually we are not doing anything fancy with the React. We are just calling the APIs that are exposed by the MetaMask. So, okay, um, here is the simple application of the React.js and right now we have the function which is called handle network switch and we want to um, fire this function whenever somebody clicks on the switch to the polygon or switch to the Binance Smart Chain. So whenever um, somebody clicks on the button, we want to execute that function and this works already uh, well. Uh, here I'm just nullifying the error. If we have any error in our application, I'm just setting it to none. Um, so right now I think it's a great time to just add the network. So whenever we have the network, um, it can be Polygon mainnet, it can be Ethereum mainnet, we have to specify some information about our network. So the information might be the name of the chain. So for instance, Polygon, then we have the native currency, for instance, for Ethereum, it's Ether, for Polygon, it, it's Matic, for Binance Smart Chain is BNB. So so here we can provide this information about the chain name, native currency, RPC URL. RPC is a basically some kind of gateway to which we are sending the requests. And then the RPC um, is just communicating directly with the blockchain. Uh, of course, if we have some transactions inside the MetaMask, we also have to know what is the block explorer URL, because obviously we cannot check our transactions on the Ethereum mainnet. We have to always check them on the uh, explorer of the chain that we are actually uh, using. So you might ask the question right now, okay, but where I can get this information from? Because we have to know the native currency, we have to know RPC URLs, blockchain explorer URLs, and so on. Usually you can have find this information on the official websites of the project. So for instance, Binance Smart Chain, you can just Google Binance Smart Chain Network Details, Polygon Network Details, or you can go to the great website, which is a chainlist.org. Uh, uh, and here you can just find for any uh, network and get the configuration of it. Uh, besides that, the chain, um, the chain uh, list.org is using the chain ID.network slash chains.json. Um, and, and here you can find a lot of networks uh, that are available these days. So for instance, if you want to um, configure the MetaMask to Genesis or RSK or whatever uh, chain that you want, good data, you can just get uh, the credentials, get the attributes um, needed from uh, here and just uh, paste it to your application. And one more thing, you may ask yourself, okay, why I need to change to sidechain? Uh, I think uh, changing to sidechain is especially interesting if you are um, uh, interacting a lot with uh, NFTs or smart contracts and uh, you don't want to pay such high gas fees on the mainnet and your application is suitable to, to run on the layer two solution, uh, then probably you would like to run on this uh, solution and then ask your users to use um, the specific network because obviously um, the addresses that are existing in the Ethereum mainnet, they are 
completely different on other networks. So that's super important to actually ask your customers, ask them to uh, set the wallet to proper configuration. So I got the um, configuration for the Polygon and uh, Binance Smart Chain. Right now I have them in just plain object in JavaScript. Uh, so now I think uh, it's a time to actually use this information and, and then just set or ask the MetaMask to set um, some network. So once we have the networks, then I will call um, the um, change network function and to this network um, to this function I will just pass the network name uh, which is called here so we have the handle network switch we are passing the polygon or Binance smart chain then we are calling this function and this function is awaiting the function called change network to which I'm passing the object that contains network name and the function which is the set error in if, if something goes wrong so uh, now it's time to implement the change network uh, function here is um, just what I said is asynchronous function function because we would like to call and await promises here. Of course, before we have to check whether the user actually has any uh, MetaMask inside the wallet, we can do it with window.ethereum. If it's undefined, then we are throwing the new error and this error is catched by try and catch block. We are setting it with the function called set error and then I'm just, um, you know, showing the error inside the app. However, this part, I think it's more interesting. So we are calling, um, we are actually requesting from uh, MetaMask the method called wallet uh, at Ethereum chain. And here are uh, providing the parameters from the specific uh, network. So we have the network called uh, Polygon, and then we are passing this in the um, correct format. So this is the correct format. We have the chain name, native currency, RPC URLs, and so on. I think the chain ID is um, interesting actually argument, and we can check the implementation of it um, here uh, inside the docs of MetaMask. And here you can see that chain ID has to be a zero x prefixed hexadecimal string. So this is this is actually important because uh, usually the network settings, um, for instance, the chain ID is 137, and we have to format it for um, for this format that MetaMask um, takes. So basically, if we go to the console uh, here and we specify, for instance, uh, number, uh, so it would be number 137, and if we just call on that string and two, uh, then you you see that that this is in the binary format. However, if we go um, for the 16, then it will be hexadecimal. So we need to do this a bit of conversion uh, and here just write 0x because otherwise the MetaMask will not pick up the correct chain. So um, this is needed. Uh, all the other things I think are pretty straightforward. We have the chain name, native currency, RPC URLs. And I think it's um, quite important to take this data um, from the chain list because otherwise if you just um, type in here um, something uh, like not Polygon mainnet or Polygon main, uh, then the MetaMask will complain that the network is different than on the chainlist.org and this may scary your customer or user. So it's better just to stick to the data that you will get from here. Uh, links, of course, you will find uh, down below. So we have this function and right now I think we can just save it. We can go to the React app and for instance, right now uh, I will go to my MetaMask and I will just change to, to the Ethereum main so let's say uh, somebody is asking me to switch to the polygon and then uh, of course the MetaMask is asking me and it's like the switch network and then I'm here um, again in my Matic uh, main. So right now I will simulate situation that I don't have the Binance Smart Chain here. So I will just remove that network and then if I click on the switch to the Binance Smart Chain then my function will call change network on to the Binance Smart Chain. So we are taking all these attributes from the object here. So if I will click switch to the Binance Smart Chain and here you are seeing that I'll decide to add the network Yes, I'm approving and I'll decide to switch the network. So switch the network. And yeah, and right now you can see that I have the Binance Smart Chain uh, information uh, here. So uh, you can check all the other um, interesting um, RPC APIs um, 
inside the docks of the MetaMask, we, we can ask for adding the Ethereum uh, chain, or we can just have uh, the separate call for switching the Ethereum chain. So um, here you can see that uh, this um, this call uh, at Ethereum chain, um, it, it checks whether whether we have the Ethereum chain and, um, and, and then if it's missing, then we are adding it and then switching. Of course, um, if I um, already have um, the, the network, what is interesting, that then it's also working. So here I'm in the Binance Smart Chain. And if I go switch to the Polygon, then they are detecting that I already have this chain ID configured. So then it's switching me to this network. So as you can see, the user experience is super great. We just have everything in place so we can uh, ask for uh, or force MetaMask to change the network for our user. Uh, one uh, more thing that I would like to show you in this uh, video is also um, that I, I would like to um, show you the use effect um, thing. Um, so whenever um, the um, chain is changing, we can also listen to that event inside our application. So don't care about this error because I don't have uh, the network change function yet. And here you can, for instance, detect that whenever a user change the network, um, and for instance, your application relies only on Polygon or Binance Smart Chain, you can detect that and for instance, block the whole UI because the network is wrong. So let's see uh, how this works. Uh, of course, the use effect we need also to clean up. So whenever um, the, the React is unmounting, I want to remove the listener um, that we created before. And here, if we right now see the console and if we just change the network, for instance, to Binance Smart Chain, um, then you see that we have uh, the chain ID here. So I don't know why it catched twice because probably Mm, before it was not doing the cleanup. But if we go to the switch to the polygon, uh, and then we are switching, then you can see that we have just run uh, just one um, invocation of our network change function. So then you can add here your logic, and, and then basically detect uh, whether the network is uh, fine for you. So that's all for today. Um, so you learned how you can ask MetaMask uh, about certain things. So how to ask MetaMask to um, change uh, and add the network. Um, I, I think this is quite useful if you are building on Polygon and uh, Binance Smart Chain. Um, if you are interested in these side chains, if you have some questions, of course, I highly encourage you to ask the questions uh, down below. Uh, and uh, if you are already building some stuff and you have some questions, I also uh, would like to invite you to my Discord channel to which you can find the link under the description down below. So thank you for attention and see you next time on this channel.